I stand here and watch. I stand here and stare as I continue to go as to where they walk is unknown. Their path has no beginning. Their path has no end. In such a desolate place, beneath my feet is cracked ground, dead and unsoiled. Fruitless and withered are the few trees that remain, stripped bare of their nutrients, their life. Covered are the faces before me. I cannot tell one from the other. Garbed in dark robes, their identity is unknown. Yet, I feel these mysterious beings to be women. My heart tells me that I'm connected to them. But in what way? Why do I feel the sudden rush of sorrow? What is it about their path that I fear? This overwhelming feeling of the ball and chain. It feels as though I'm trapped. My eyes continue to follow as they tread on. Where are you going? I ask, trying to touch them, only to have my hand fall through. A ghost? No, what I'm seeing can't be a figment of my imagination. Why do I feel so drawn to them? What is this invisible pool? I repeat my question once more. Stopping, a cloaked pair turned toward me. One is smaller than the other. A child. Pulling back her hood, a face is revealed. Mine. My heart stops as I fall to the ground weeping. Why do you have my face? The air around me remains silent as my skin becomes stained by the mud that has formed. Are you a ghost too? Still, no reply. I watch as this child is led away only to join the others. Surely there must be another path to take. Surely that wherever this path leads, I will not follow.